Folks, welcome to Spelling Bee round one. Five. Sure. I'm Reef Adbari, perfect ACT score, artificial intelligence researcher, and perfect GPA. Today, you have your contestant, Professor Suborn Isaac Berry, world's youngest mayor and youngest professor. Are you ready? Get on with it. I was born ready. All right. We'll see about that. The first word is denigrate. Denigrate. If you want me to use it in a sentence or give you the definition, feel free. Screw you! Denigrate. D E N I G R A T E. Denigrate. That's one point for denigrate. Yay! Now, what is the definition? Pity. Denigrate means to say negative things about, which political opponents often do. Next word. Are you ready? I was born ready. I am denigrating you right now, in fact. Vocabulary. I think you're going to eat your words after I say this word. Deride. 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 Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Trump often derides his political opponents in a rally. Okay, I got it. So, it must be from the pronunciation and the way you used it in the sentence, deride. D-E-R-I-D-E, -E, deride. That is correct. One point for deride. I'm on a streak. What does it mean? Um, basically to um, hurt somebody, ridicule somebody. Ugh. No, it means to mock. Yeah, mock ridicule and mocking in this are the same thing. Are you ready for the next? Yes, I was born ready. Okay, yeah, born ready to knock down this iPad, I assume. The next <laughs> word is derivative. Derivative. Ooh, I know this one. Something you're not very good at doing. Okay, what is derivative? How do you? I swear to God, if you say that one more time. Anyway, <coughs> derivative. D E R I V A T I V E. Oh, mm. Uh, restart so I can I can knock it down. <coughs> Mr. Deaf Boy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go go. D E R I V A T I V E. That's one point for derivative. What does it mean? Uh, so it has two meanings. One uh, in regular uh, usage, where it basically means a variation of something, and one in math, specifically calculus, where it basically means um, the instantaneous slope at one point on a graph. Correct. Are you ready for the next word? I'm on a streak. Oh, oh I mean, I was born, born, born ready. I was in the womb ready for this moment. Desiccate. Desiccate. I can use it in a sentence or give you the definition if needed. I know desecrate, but desiccate? Desiccate. Okay. Desiccate. D-E-S-E-C-A-T-E. -E -E. Go slowly and start over. Okay, Mr. Deaf Boy. D-E-S-E-C-A. Wait, no, let me spell that again. Let me spell that again. Desiccate, right? Okay, then uh, let me remove the marks. Go ahead. Uh, what is the word? Desiccate. I can use it in a D -E -S -A sentence. D-E-S-A. Okay. C-A-T-E. Wow. That is desiccate. zero points what? for desiccate. You said A instead of I. I got you. Caught you red-handed. Desiccate means to dry out completely or to completely suck out your life due to something. So, for example. I will suck the life out of you. I will desiccate you real hard after this. Oh, I didn't said that on camera. <laughs> For example, you can say this research project has completely desiccated my interest in billiard balls. Okay. We don't question. talk about the Harvard scientist that gave him this problem that nobody could solve for 200 years. Okay, are you ready for the next word? Yes! I was born ready! Okay, let me try to get to the next word. Desultory. Desultory. I can use Okay, it maybe I sentence. wasn't born ready. Okay. Desultory. Use it in a sentence. Desultory. The individual completed the math problem in a desultory way, giving the instructor messy handwriting and a half solution. Okay. I can also. Can you give, give me the, the definition? definition? Yes. Jinx. To, to do something in a half-hearted way, to not put your full heart and soul into it. Nice. Now I don't have to say the definition. 
I outsmarted you. Anyway. You still have to spell the word. What is the word again? Desultory. D-E-S-U-L-T-E-R-Y. Wow. You were born ready to get zero points. No, what? You said E-R-Y instead of O-R-Y. Okay? So, if you want me to re-say the word, feel free to ask me to re-pronounce the word, okay? Remember, you need 60% to pass. Oh no, so I only can, have 30%. You can afford to lose out on four words. Are you ready for the next word? Yes. Oh no, this Not gonna sense. say you were born ready? <laughs> Detachment. Oh no! Detachment. D E T A C H M E N. Uh, wait, I uh, no, I mean detachment. D E T A C H M E N. Friggin T. That's one point for detachment. Give the definition. It basically means to break away from something. To be objective or to be lonely. Something you often are. Okay. <laughs> next word. Are you ready for the next word? Shut up! Determinant. Determinant. Oh, I was... Determinant. D-E-T-E-R-M-I-N-T. That is... Correct. One point for determinant. What is the definition? What is oh. the definition? Um, the definition is... I mean, the definition is gobbledygook. I mean, uh, what was the word? Determinant. Oh, it basically means um, something that decides another thing. So yes, like... a primary factor that causes an event. Another the weather... Uh, the weather was determinant on whether Refat would go outside today. Actually, it wasn't because he never goes outside. <laughs> Something I don't like to do, as you can tell. Next <laughs> word. Diatribe. Diatribe. Wait, what? I was definitely not born ready for this one. Diatribe. I'm not sure if I'm even ready now for this one. I can supply you with the definition or use it in a sentence. Diatribe. Yeah, I was not ready. Diatribe. Diatribe. Yes. Do you want the definition? Do you want to use it in a sentence? Give me the definition! The definition of diatribe is to denounce someone in an angry speech. Diatribe! Okay, I got it. D-E-A-T-R-I-V-E. Wow. That was so wrong, I ran out of, I ran out of ink to mark it wrong. You said D-E, first of all. It's D-I. Diatribe. So that's zero points for the Oh, dude, you said it like diatribe when you were giving the definition. So you were I cheating. I said diatribe. You said we'll diatribe. Check, let, we'll check the tape. Are you ready for the next word? You have two more words. You can only miss out on one if you want to move on to the next one. Oh, God. So are you ready? Yes. Didactic. Didactic. I can you give me the definition? Sure. Didactic means to be educational or to be instructive. So, for example, didactic. For example, most elementary school teachers use manipulatives as a didactic to help. No, pronounce it, but slower. Didactic. Okay. Didactic. D i d a c t i c. That is one point for the word. Whoa! Yes! Yes! I okay. win! We'll see about that. Are you ready for the next word? But I need 60 to pass, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, seems like AI researcher can't do math. Are you ready for the last word? Basic 7th grade math. The dad. I'm ready. Okay, so. Let's go to the next word. Okay. Diffident. 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 So is that an F or a V? You want me to give you the spelling? I'm, I'm not going to give you any hints. Give me Diffident. Give me. Diffident. I can give you the meaning or use it in a sentence. Give me a slow pronunciation. Diffident. D-I-F-F-I-D-E-N-T. Go slowly. Can you say it one more time? D I double F. I-D-E-N-T. 
That is one point for the word diffident. Ah! Seven, uh, one, two, three. Seventy one. points. Seventy percent, just enough to move on to the next round. Congratulations. That's why I need sixty percent to move on. So okay. I got. It. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.